Welcome back to my second vlog. Why do I do that one? My second vlog <laughs> of this self isolation, social distancing time of our lives. Morning, me and my husband, we had to go to Perth to pick up some ice cream to meet the ice cream supplier and pick up some ice cream for the Redberry shop. Then I basically have spent the rest of the day playing with our bunny. We have a bunny now and his name is Storm. He's so, so cute and he's finally like starting to get like very sauce and just now i've just gone and picked up the chicken i picked up three baby chickens and some spices we are going to be making some chicken palau um, my sister-in-law is going to teach me her recipe and it's going to be really good so i just need to get a little get some yogurt uh, i think we have cucumber at home i'm gonna have some a bit of cooking in this vlog which will be nice i'm not sure how much i'm going to show because obviously like not everyone's comfortable in being on youtube <laughs> And I'm just about to get changed to cook. We are learning from my older sister-in-law, so we're going to be taking notes as well. And I think having it in a vlog is going to be really helpful because then we can revisit this video if we need to. And this is my new tripod that I got. You don't have a mic, but I do tend to edit the audio. What I tend to wear when I'm cooking is just like an abaya like this. I just get these from Modernista. I've got two of them. This one is definitely on the tighter side. But I'm really happy because, like, literally a month ago, this would not fit me. It was way too tight. It would not. It just felt like I was dying in a corset. And now it fits me. And that shows that my exercising has been paying off. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll know that I've been posting our workouts, mine and my sister in law's workouts, every single day that we've been doing them. We do. The only problem is we do tend to do them quite late. So if you want to join in, it's a good idea to like do them from the night before, if that makes sense. But definitely follow me on Snap. I'll leave I'll leave the Snapchat here and you'll be able to join us in working out and honestly it's making a big difference. Thanks, thank you, you got me in my feelings. I gotta be real with it. Okay, let go. Robbie, I know you love me. Cause I need you to love me back. I will never ever leave from beside you. Cause I want you. 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 So Baji's just half boiled the chicken. Half fried, like stir fried oil. Yeah, in that oil. And basically that will get rid of the smell. Okay, and then Sophie Baji is just getting the garlic, um, garlic and ginger, peeling it, and then she's gonna put in a blender with the six, six chilies, six, six tomatoes, six tomatoes, and then chilies. Because we're making so much. Baji, because I want ya. And I need ya, and I'm down for you always, Robbie. I know you love me, cause I need you. I will never ever leave from beside you, cause I want ya, and I need ya, and I'm down for you always. Yeah, I'm on to be loud, that's why every day I rub my face to the ground. Such yeah, yeah. I prefer mercies and blessings in the early morning for you and for me. I'm holding up in lost tight and never letting go. Cause I wanna see the guy in which one can only flow. Never letting go. Cause I want you, and I need you, and I'm down for you always. With my face to the ground, every day I don't mind. And I'm down for you always, down, down for you always, down, down for you always. I can survive living without you Robby, I know you love me Cause I need you I will never ever leave from beside you Cause I want you And I need you And I'm down for you always Robby, I know you love me Cause I need you I will never ever leave from beside you Cause I want you And I need you And I'm down for you always Whoa. But you prefer which one? And I'm down, and I'm down, down for you always. Every day, every day. Yeah, yeah. I pray the love I have for you will fade away. Fade away, fade away. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
when you finally take the lid off, you must mix it thoroughly, otherwise the bottom of it will get stuck and you'll have half a dish rooms. <sighs> Tuesday the 21st. Today's been a very, very stressful day for me because I filmed two videos and there's something wrong with either my memory card, my camera, or my laptop. I don't know what it is, but I lost half the footage. It wouldn't open, it wouldn't play, and I couldn't find anything on Google to help me. So I've been having a lot of technical issues, which we'll know if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that. But yeah, I'm just basically now it's evening time and I'm just preparing for tomorrow. I'm working from Wednesday to Friday, half day, so half 11 to 4 each of those three days. And I've already done one shift as I might have mentioned. I'm not sure if I have, but I've already done one shift. Um, basically, I'm just preparing a few projects and things that the children might want to do. But I had a chat today with a member of staff. She was basically saying, just sort of take it easy, go with the flow, um, ask the children what they would want, like to do in the time that you have with them. And obviously, you can use outdoor spaces, but you have to maintain social distancing. So, yeah, I'm going to just have a few little ideas planned and written down. Just had like a really blah day today in terms of productivity and um, just feeling really disappointed because the lighting was on point and everything the good news is i managed to salvage half well one of the videos by the time i tried to fix fix the clips and everything and figure out like what was wrong and all the rest of it I, there was no way i could sit to my upload schedule and i'm really trying hard to do that but it wasn't meant to be today. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe this weekend is Ramadan. And when you're watching this, we will be in Ramadan, inshallah. I feel like, I don't know if it's just me or if it's because we're in isolation or whatever it is. I feel like it's come around very quickly. Alhamdulillah, we really needed it. I really needed it. Like, I'm very, very excited to be able to stop and reconnect. Focus on my deen, focus on, you know, all the important things in life. Um, but the one good thing to come out of this is I've just seen... That I think I'll be able to get another Final Cut Pro trial because um, I can use iMovie and I don't mind using iMovie. Oh, it says download started. Obviously, Final Cut Pro is so much cooler. And if I get a 90 day trial, that means that by like 20th of July, then it will be over. I think I would have probably either saved up enough money or hopefully, hopefully by that point, made enough money on AdSense to put towards it to justify the cost. Because Final Cut Pro is £300. And yes, I'm working now, but I have like other costs to put towards and I really want to save and I want to start investing as well. So I don't want to just splash out loads of cash. I did. I was cheeky with my first uh, payday for sure. Like I brought so many things I've wanted for a long time, like straighteners and a steamer <laughs> and like practical things, not like I didn't go over the top with clothes or makeup because I have enough makeup for sure. I'm gonna try and have an earlyish night. We watched a movie until 4 a.m. yesterday, which was just so silly. I don't know what is up with the sleeping routine right now. Quarantine sleeping routine is just not going well in this house. Let's hope that I mean I was going to say let's hope that changes, but I reckon in Ramadan we'll probably end up staying right between Iftari and Sehri. So yeah, I will be trying to vlog bits and bobs for you guys. I know you guys enjoy a good Ramadan vlog. It's going to be very different to last time because last time we were in our own apartment and obviously I'm leaving my in-laws now, so it's going to be different. But So I always have to have my hard drive plugged in. This is a Toshiba one. There's one terabyte. And then... I edit on my MacBook, but I've recently started using my iPad as well as this fake Apple Pencil. Unfortunately, this iPad mini is very old. It's a very old model, so the pencil part doesn't work. But for the bits in my vlogs and videos where you can see the handwritten annotations, I use the end of the stylus. And then that helps me edit. Sasta, yeah, yeah. I prefer messes and blessings in the alimony for you and for me. I'm holding up your lost eye and never letting go. So I make sure my brightness is up. So this footage just looks okay. The color looks all right. If anything, it's a little bit warm. So I'm going to go to exposure. I'm going to up the brightness a tiny bit. Lessen the, con the contrast a little bit. Go saturation, 
lower the saturation a tiny bit. Yeah, and I say that's more realistic. And then I'm just going to press Command C and go to my other clips and then press Edit and Paste Attributes. And that way, they'll all be the same. Awesome. In my primary school experience, I, I had no teachers who are Muslims at all. Um, and I had, apart from one teacher, all of them were female. So here, I just want to add something in. So what I do is I use the app called Sketchbook. And you can see I was editing a thumbnail on here before. Um, just move you guys again. And I just wanted to show you guys because I know um, some of you have your own channel and this would be helpful. So I just go to a new sketch and I already set my dimensions up for the YouTube screen, which is 1280 to 720. Press create and I discard the current sketch because I don't need it anymore. And then I pretty much choose a brush, choose a color. So for this video, I think I'm going to go for like a kind of like nice brown you ready murky color like that i'm just going to test the brush yeah fairly happy with that so you can click on the projector stroke and it will just make your writing look a little bit better see that eye is horrible because i'm not writing on a flat surface but in my Personal, and can you see how it's just making it look neater? Is I literally just click this button here, that same button, click on share because I've got iPhone, iPad, and MacBook, albeit these are old versions, but they still work. I just go to my MacBook Pro, obviously, it's this one here, so I'll just put this here. Then I go over to this tab up here, click on multiply, and that makes the background go away. If you open these up, it allows you to make the text smaller, and it allows you to position it as well. If I just do that, move it here, move it up a little bit, put that there, there we go. Um, so. In my primary school experience, I had no teachers who are Muslims at all. Um, and I now, obviously, that's not the neatest at all, but it just adds a bit of a personal touch. And obviously, it would have been neater if I had been writing it properly like this. And I just like it compared to just having text on the screen. And for me, it's just a different way of editing. I've seen uh, Casey edit like this a couple of times, and I love the style. And other people do it. Oh, that's a very flattering... <laughs> screen that I've stopped on there but yeah I just thought that you guys might find that useful and with that I'm going to leave this vlog here if you enjoyed this video then like I said let me know if you'd rather have like a whole week or if you'd rather have shorter vlogs I can do whatever you guys prefer let me know down below and I will speak to you and see you guys very soon take care everyone bye talk to God is the one and only that can make it all right to the moon Take my hands, don't let go, you can hold me I can make it all right to the morning